Hello everyone, welcome back to this game. We'll talk to you in a moment. Yep, sure enough, a level up. Okay, what do I want to do now? Health, defense and stuff, magic, regen. The more health we get, the more useful this is going to become. Have I reached that point yet? Hmm. Yes. This'll be a particular help during boss fights, like that last one. The fact that it lasts to 10 turns, that is pretty good. Okay, time for the next quest. I have not seen Priest Nolwyn in a while. Could he be in the basement? I tried taking a look, but I heard awful noises coming from the basement. Can you please check on him? I'm worried. I wonder if we'll find out about that secret passage he went through. Yep. So what's down here? More books to read? What we got? You open a page in the book, The Foundation of Mana Hill. And on that fateful day, Viker conjured a barrier and declared himself king by will of the gods. Vikar Sera, or simply V, is prefaced to a year to indicate how many years have elapsed since the aforementioned Foundation Day. I kind of figured that the V in front of the year was related to that. So it's uh, called Vikar Sera. Oh, like, Vicar's Era. Oh, the, the, oh, crap. I shouldn't have tried running. I really shouldn't have tried running. Alright, we got, um, Giant Mole. Very much not a cute mole. Poison is unfortunate. The good news is, we're both faster, so I can rely on Scar healing himself. The bad news is, not enough. I am really glad Poison can't actually kill you. I get the feeling that Priest Nolwyn is in trouble. You know what? Let's get Daddle. And rest up. And also harvest another coma plant. I think there's another one around here somewhere. First rest. Worth pointing out, by the way, that unlike camps, you cannot pray to the gods here in your tent. Gimme. Now, hopefully that Mole has not respawned. And if it did, this time, let's not turn our back to it. 
Tell you what, that was really speedy for a malt. Nope, did not respond. Are we about to have a second optional dungeon? The Blessing of the Gods According to legend, King Viker was blessed by the gods themselves atop the heavens reach. It is believed that said blessing granted him godlike attributes such as incredible strength and immortality. Oh! So, the current Vicar isn't a descendant. That's why he doesn't have a number after his name. He is the original Vicar. No, no, duh. I almost made the mistake, same mistake twice. Okay, I need a plan here. What is my plan? Too bad there's no debuff spell. Or is there? Maybe uh, there is, and I haven't really paid attention to it. Uh, I'm not gonna use magic right now. Although I should consider buffing Scar's defense. Yeah, let, let, let's do that. I am okay with that miss. I would heal the poison, but it would just result in us getting poisoned again. That said... Gosh, you're taking the beating. Oh man, at one point we had like 30 coma biscuits. I'm kind of curious about something. Oh, I should also heal that poison and bleeding. Let's do that first while I'm thinking about it. Oh gosh, poison and bleeding? That's certainly a double whammy. But what I'm curious about is... Can you be uh, confused outside of battle? Yes. And that is why I saved. So, we won't heal like that. Okay, let's be careful about our progression, so maybe I can sneak up on them. You have a pattern? But I was not fast enough. And there's two of you! Crap! Um... Definitely doing this. I don't know that that'll help a whole lot. Okay. Is there a chance that they have an element? It's worth a shot. It doesn't cost a turn. Well, it causes extra damage regardless. However... Oh, gosh. I am... There is something about these fights that I am not considering. 
I'm just gonna let this fight be a loss. Let's see if we can succeed in this. That'll help a little at least. What else could I possibly do here? Without using too many crystals. Oh, I cannot choose who do who does counters. I'm still doing something wrong here. What is the best way of dealing with those guys? Seriously. New plan. Try to avoid it. Also, what is this? Not entirely helpful. Another plot block. The Forsaken Goddess. This is important. Few acknowledge the existence of the fourth god of A.V., Ilya. Little is known about why she is often omitted in writing, but through time her name became taboo and synonymous or and synonym with demoness. He helped no one get back on his feet. Lambda I am sorry you found me like this. Nonetheless, I appreciate your help. What were you doing? I won't hide my sin, Lambda. I was drinking. Please don't share this with anyone. Let's head upstairs. I want to give you something to express my gratitude. Allow me to bless the sword I gave you last time with a dose of mana water. Mana water? It's just water sprinkled with mana stone dust. No one takes the no one's sword from you. That is redundant. Oh, merciful gods of Avi, listen to your devoted servant's plea and bless this sword with your infinite power. I somehow doubt that it's actually going to have infinite power. No one's sword became the more powerful Blessed Sword. Here you go, Lambda. Thanks again, Lambda. May the sword be of use in your journey. 
It will with our primary foe. Uh, not with dealing with that mole down there. Rejoice! Priest Nolan is back! Hello again, Lambda. Welcome to this humble sanctuary. Have you prayed to the gods today? I did. I, I doubt that uh, I'm at a point where I could do that again. Not even close. Uh, I, I wish I had a game plan to deal with that other mole. But I got nothing. Time to face my loneliness again. You know, there's a lady just around the corner who's really worried about you. Let me double check my equipment. Specifically these. Nothing special about them. And the cloth pants wouldn't be in big enough boost to be worth wearing. <sighs> They're just gonna have to continue to be a, that mole hanging around down there. I'm sure eventually my quest will lead me back down there and I'll be stronger by then. Okay, there is, I think one more? Yeah, no, two more. There's two more optional quests that I've unlocked. Hello again, Lambda. I am so sorry to bug you again, but my kids have been asking nonstop about you. They want to play a game of tag with you. I know you are a busy mana finder, so please don't feel obliged to do it. But if you happen to, to make time, please speak to Pink with the green scarf. You mean the one standing right next to you? Lambda! Want to play tag? Not before saving. Actually, I'm kind of curious about something. Because the camera goes off-center for this little scene. Anyway, yes. Gather together, everyone! Linda is up for a game of tag. You have to tag us all before time runs out. Yeah, I kind of figured that would be the case. Yes, and you can't step in the dirt. Only we can. What happens if I step in the dirt? Oh, we're going to a minigame arena. Okay. Hey, good news, I don't actually have to mash the interaction button. In fact, they can just run into me. And they got patterns. Well, this is simple enough. And this is a fun song. No, but, uh... I swear, if I lose, 
Oh, you, you really can't step in the dirt. I, I, I was certain that I was about to win there. We won! We won! We're always ready to play again. Yeah, let's do that. This time, I am aware of your little trick at the end. Oh, you actually do run. I was just kind of lucky in sneaking up from behind you the first time. Now, hold on a sec. That didn't, that's not how that worked last time. Oh, apparently this dirt I can walk on. I wonder if there was going to be some other trick had I come from the other direction there. You won. Rats. Whatever. Yuck. We lost like against an adult again. Mommy. Mommy. Grown up in here is mean. Kids. You need to learn to accept defeat. It is part of growing up. Sorry, Lambda. They should know better. I'll do a better job. Please, they are kind of spoiled. I, I don't know about that. I'm not necessarily under that impression. I'm just going to stay silent. I mean, I'm not going to say you're doing fine for certain either, because clearly you need to continue teaching them. But they're not that bad. So, staying silent. Allow me to thank you for babysitting my children by teaching you some motherly tricks. Are you emphasizing babysitting to let them know that they're acting like babies? Your coma leaves will now heal an additional 0 HP for a total of 225 HP per use. I'm sorry? And now let the mana find her to her work. Stop bugging her. Okay, mom. I'm going to reload my save and not have that minigame completed, just in case that is a bug and I can let the game developer know about that and then get the proper reward whenever it's working properly. In the meantime, one more. We got another thing to do in the bar, which is surprising because I thought that all I'd have to worry about is the bartending minigame and I could just do that anytime I needed money. Hey Lambda! I need a huge favor. I know, I know. You must be crazy busy saving us all. Well, as a matter of fact. But this favor benefits a mana finder. I would love to help you. Well, I don't know if I'm necessarily that enthusiastic. I'm just going to mentally wait for her to go on. I won't force you to do it, I can't. But at least hear me out. I want to offer 
Aquafloria tea to those seeking a less mind-numbing experience. But I first need Aquafloria, which grows in the Emerald Waters. Could you get some for me? Ten would suffice. Darn, I only have two. And of course I'll ping you for your troubles. Yes. Thank you, Lambda. Need a drink? No. Bye! Where at again? In the Emerald Waters. Oh, I didn't mean to say yes. In the Emerald Waters. Alright, time for some fast traveling. And I only found two of them my first time? How exactly do they spawn? Well, that's one way, I suppose. Uh, do I necessarily need to grab that right now? No. Would they also spawn in here? I'm gonna say probably not. Hmm. Uh, I'll go ahead and harvest this one for the Comet Biscuits. Okay, so that's five so far. Ah! That's more backtracking than I was hoping to do. However, it's worth it because I can see some more right there. In fact, there's a lot of them. Oh, this quest will be easier than I thought. So that's seven. I don't really feel like fighting you. Yeah, there's one right there as well. And if those other two are also Aquaphoria, then that'll be all that we need. Which makes me glad that I reloaded my save after using the one. Right here? Oh! Awesome! Uh, that was probably not the one to go to. So we got all the Aqua Florida we need, and then some. Actually, I might as well harvest that coma plant that's up here as well. No reason not to. I'm not going this direction. Oh, nice! Four of them! Hey, Lambda! Are those the Acaflorias? Can I please have them? Yes. Thanks, Lambda! I'll be able to serve the Aquafloria tea. And here's your paint. You were pretty quick at making that. Say, Lambda, do you really think I am helping people out? Complicated. Yes, you are helping people out. You are only enabling bad habits. Who cares? <laughs> we're all dying one day anyway. Wow, okay. That is a thought that crosses my mind on occasion, but no, I'm not saying that. Yeah, you're helping people out. Hearing that is very reassuring. Thank you. 
Some people hate me and blame me for rotting the settlers' minds. All I want is to offer them a brief respite from our harsh reality. Ah, life, life, life. Why do you have to be so complicated? Until next time, Lambda. Oh, and remember I'll be settle settling Aquafloria tea from now on. Yeah, on that note... The Swarm Tea heals a 120 HP to one ally while also curing Frostbite and Freeze status ailments. Gonna have to worry about that at some point. But not while we're going to Volcano. Speaking of which... Let's get back to that.